Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zarks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new flashbacks currently in the game and honestly they're not that bad. Like completely honest they are really not that bad. Uh, so I'm going to go over those cards and also talk to you guys about the solo battle rewards because we actually do have some news about that. Now I do want to give a shout out to I Smell Cap for being a part of the Nota King. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Nota Gang. Also, if you guys don't already follow me over on social medias, over on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at Xerxy, make sure you guys go ahead and do. We've been growing like crazy over on TikTok. Thank you guys for all the support. Post up there a couple times a day. So if you wanted me to like reply to you or, you know, like give you a, a video response over on TikTok or like a question, go leave me some questions on TikTok. I'll do some of the day. Let's go over the news. So here is that news. As you guys can see under the updates column right here, solo battle. So solo battle rewards are targeted to release sometime today. The Mutt team will be rewarding players based on their correct placement from 13 games only. And then you can see as well, they did say that a bug was found that it was allowing players to play multiple games in solo battles. Uh, the issue has been addressed. Next week, solo battle rewards will be just to reward players based on 13 games played. And also the Team of the Week milestone rewards. I got tweeted this a lot last night as well. Uh, with the Team of the Week, players that earned 68 out of 68 stars in the Team of the Week milestone were not receiving their correct rewards. NAT Team of the Week Player of the Week. This issue was fixed around 9.30 p.m. So solo battle rewards will be going out some point later today. My guess, usually when they say like later today, uh, it's going to be sometime in the afternoon, like probably 2, 3 p.m. Eastern. I don't know for a fact. I'm just saying that's usually when stuff does get fixed. So be on the lookout. I'll tweet out, let you guys know whenever it goes live. Maybe it'll be later. I'm not sure. But we do have five new flashbacks today. And honestly, they're not bad. Now, they're not crazy good. Uh, it's 89 overall Greg Olson. However, for budget teams... They're honestly not bad at all. Like, they all can definitely get uh, some good use out of them as we pull one right here, 94 Lamarcus Joyner. Now, for theme teams, I think all these cards are really good, honestly. Now, with Joyner, he doesn't have a power-up, it looks like. So, he doesn't have a power-up. He has 92 speed, 94 excel. I can't remember if he had, like, 80 overall or not. It looks like he had a gold card. 92 speed, 94 excel. So, he's a little bit slow, right? A little bit slow there however on a theme team you can get him up and then he has 91 man and 94 zone so you can actually get him to 99 zone coverage which i love on safeties he's a little bit slow and he's five foot eight he's got 92 hit power uh 90 player rick as well he's got a block shed of 73 not bad and 92 hit power with good coverage stats it's not a crazy good card because you know he's a, he's a little bit slow there 92 speed however it's as i said a decent usable card now one player that i know a lot of people are going to want to go ahead and pick up is actually going to be Derek carr as you get marcus Mariota right there Derek carr's backup i believe he's still on the raiders as the backup uh but with Derek carr one thing i want to mention is he is a fuel general he's a 94 overall so uh if you power him up to 95 overall he will actually be a 95 overall with 95 throw power which means he will get gunslinger however you can't actually use Gunslinger and Hot Route Master on him. I believe you need to be 96 overall to have Gunslinger in Tier 2, or is it Hot Route Master in Tier 2? To get one of them in Tier number 2, and then have the other in Tier number 3, basically. So, he will have the option of Hot Route Master or Gunslinger, but Derek Carr will not be able to get both here. As I'll do one more pack. If we pull a 95 or 94 overall, I'll show you their stats. Otherwise, hop over to the auction block, and I will show you guys their stats over there. Uh, as again, Marcus Mariota. So 89 plus, we pull 194 overall. So Joiner is solid. There's Derek Carr, who is honestly pretty good. Like, the Derek Carr card is not bad at all, and I I'm really curious to see their prices. What are these 94 overall flashbacks going for? So 130k, okay, 
not bad. So Derek Carr has said he's a 94 overall field general with 94 throw power. So you do need to power him up. It'll be 95 overall with 95 throw power, which means he gets Gunslinger. But as I said, you can't use both Gunslinger and Hara Master on him. However, he's got 81 speed, 93 short, 90 medium, and 89 deep. So powered up, he's at 90 deep. So he's over all the throwing thresholds. Then he has 90 throw under pressure, 89 throw on the run, and 90 play action. Uh, he also does have 87 acceleration, uh, 76 carrying. He's not crazy once you know he uh, actually runs runs no juke no spin any change of direction so it's a solid card Raiders team teams I don't think you'd want to get rid of Rich Gannon you probably would still rather use Rich Gannon uh Brian Bulaga 88 strength 95 awareness 94 pass blocking 95 pass block power 93 pass block finesse with a 90 run block 89 run block power and 90 run block finesse honestly again it's a solid card not that fast you know 60 speed on him uh he's got 92 lead block 94 impact block it's a solid pass blocking right tackle right there. Uh, then we've got Jason Pierre Paul, which he's going for 150K, 83 speed and 90 Excel. Decently fast. He's got 87 strength as well with 88 block shed, but 97 finesse move. So like on a Giants theme team, he's going to be crazy. He does have a power up, so you can switch him to Bucks if you power him up, of course. I believe he only plays with the Giants and, and Buccaneers, I, I believe so. So JPP, I mean great pass rusher he's not gonna be crazy against the run he's only got an 89 block shed there uh he also does have a 95 hit power wow and a 31 catching for jace pierre paul didn't this man have an interception this year i'm pretty sure jpp actually did have an int so great hit power uh solid speed it's a pretty solid card again as i said these cards are not supposed to be the best cards of position but for budget teams these are solid. And Yannick is a crazy pass rusher. He's got 85 speed, 89 excel. So pretty similar to JPP. A little bit faster there. However, this man has 97 finesse move and 90 power move as well. So he is going to be crazy for pass rushing. Uh, against the run, not good at all. 73 block shed. That's real bad. So he's going to be really, really bad against the run. Uh, really good as a pass rusher, though, with that 97 finesse move, 90 power move. He's only got 80 strength as well. He's got a hit power of 91. So I honestly don't think his flashbacks are crazy good. They're not bad. They're definitely usable. Derek Carr, pretty usable. The Marcus Joyner, I think he's a little slow, too small if you don't have him on a theme team. JPP, solid. Brian Blaga, solid. Yannick Ngakwe solid cards so those are the flashbacks for today and also these solo battle rewards do i wish these cards were better yeah a little bit but at 94 overalls you can get them for like 140k and i mean for their price and how good they are they're overall decent with that being said guys i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below i will have a no money spent episode for you guys later today and uh, i believe as well another episode of something else or another video as well uh tomorrow's thursday so we have two new ltds tomorrow friday I don't think we're getting anything Friday. As far as I know, I don't, I don't believe we have anything coming on Friday. I expect Team of the Year to be next Tuesday. And then you guys know Saturday we have Legends. Sunday we have nothing. Actually, maybe we'll get more playoff stuff this Friday. So we'll be on the lookout for that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on it. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Follow me over on all my socials. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.